Hi guys, in this lecture you will be learning the assess specifiers. What are the assess specifiers? The public, private and protected. It is related to the scope. So first of all, what is the scope? The scope is the limit or just the boundary of anything. Here I'm going to tell you about the scope. If I create a variable here in the main, so its scope is uh, just in this main. We cannot assess this number variable outside this main in any function because these parentheses show the scope of this number variable. Here I'm going to assess this variable but this is not possible. Here I'm going to write number is equal to zero and now here you see that this is the error number cannot be resolved to a variable because this function cannot know about the number variable that is in the main it is telling us there is no variable whose name is number so this is the scope and now i am gonna tell you about the assess specifier how to increase the scope if the number is in the main or in the class so how to increase its scope using the public private and protected keyword so first of all I'm gonna use the public keyword so here I'm gonna remove this and remove this and here in the class I'm gonna declare a variable string then name and now I'm gonna write the public keyword before this data member. So now this name variable is accessible inside the class in the functions and in the main and it is also accessible in the other class that is in the same package and it is also accessible in the other class that is outside this package. So now I'm going to show you here you can see that we can give it value here is the Fahad and you can see that it is accessible and you can also assess it, it in the main in the main we need to create object here I'm gonna create our object here is the person p1 is equal to new person and here is and now here we need to write the p1 dot name is equal to Ali so this is the way we can assess what is the benefit of this public we can also assess the data the name variable in the other class that is in the same package here in this package I'm going to create another class whose name is student here is the student and now here I'm going to assess it. We just need to create the object of this class and then we can assess it. Here I'm going to copy this statement and paste it here. And here you can see that we can assess the name variable. First of all we create the object of the person class and then assess the name here is no error and I'm gonna print this on the screen here what we need to do p1 dot name and now let's execute this file this student file here I'm gonna run this file run as Java application and here you see that its output is Ali and here I'm gonna change it so you can watch it clearly here I'm gonna run it again here you can see that the text is changed so this is a way we can assess the public data in the other class in the same package but we can also assess the public data in the class that is outside this package here I'm gonna create another package in the source click on this icon and I'm gonna create the package with the name first 
and here is the package and now I'm gonna create the class inside this package here is the package name is first and I'm gonna create the employee so now this is the employee class here I'm gonna create another variable public int age this class in the different package whose name is first and the student dot java is in the different package whose name is default package so now I'm gonna assess the data member age in the student class first of all we need to write import and then the package name is first then the class name is employee then the semicolon and now here I'm gonna create the object of this employee class first of all write the employee e1 here is the new employee and now I'm gonna assess the data of the employee class using the even dot age here is the age and I'm gonna give it the value 5 and I'm also gonna print it even dot age and now let's print this out and here is the 5 is printed on the screen so this is the way you can assess the public data from the other package in the other class and now I am gonna assess the protected data so first of all what is the protected data so if we make the data to the protected so what is going to happen here you can see that we can assess the protected data in the class and in the main and we can also assess the protected data here in the class which is in the same package here you can see that we can assess the protected data but we cannot assess the protected data in the other class that is in the different package here in the first here I'm gonna write Mm, this statement here I'm going to copy this statement and let's write it in the employee but we cannot assess it so here you can see that this is the error we cannot assess the protected data here in the other class that is in the different package so now here I'm going to talk about the third one that is the private if we make any data to the private so let's see what happened this name is gonna be private so now when we write the private to any data so that kind of data is only accessible in the class so now here you can see that it gives an error because when the name is become the private so it is not accessible in the other classes that is in the same package or in the different package so it gives an error the private data is only accessible in the same class and when we have not provide any access specify so the data is only accessible in the same class in the main and in the function and it is also accessible in the same package in the second class here you can see that we can assess the name here it does not give any error so I'm gonna run it here is run as Java application so it cannot give any error so with the no assess specifier we can assess data in the same package and in the same class i have explained the assess specifiers uh, by applying on the data members on the variables but the same conditions are apply on the function if we make any function public here if we apply it public so it is accessible in the class in the main it is also accessible outside the class outside it is also accessible in the other class that is in the same package and it is 
it is also accessible in the other class that is in the different package same conditions are apply on these functions if we make it protected so it is accessible in the other class that is in the same package and inside the class and if we make it private so the function is only accessible within the class if we cannot provide any access specified to the function so it is accessible in the same package in the other class and it is also accessible inside the class so the same condition that is apply on the data members are also apply on the functions so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video that is about the encapsulation see you in the next lecture thank you for watching this video